guess what video I'm doing this week? You guys, on my video where I mentioned that I may not be doing any more What I Eat In A Week videos, the comment section went crazy. And everyone was like, don't you dare take away the What I Eat In A Week videos. So, not only am I going to be doing another What I Eat In A Week video, but I researched for four hours yesterday trying to find like brand new recipes because I'm trying to eat less meat and I'm trying to go pescatarian and I realized my diet isn't really that healthy like I kind of just replaced meat with processed vegetarian meat substitutes I had like the other week this weird steak thing it was like a, a meat free steak and I actually was bleeding and I was like dude this is so wrong <laughs> like what is this so I've been researching and this what I eat in a week video is gonna be extremely healthy it's gonna be extremely delicious and it's gonna be all brand new recipes just for you guys because you guys deserve it okay what you looking at carl i'm looking at an idiot okay so it's actually like 10 a.m right now and i haven't had anything except for a coffee i'm waiting for my groceries to get delivered and they don't get delivered until like 10 30 so i'm pretty hungry right now but all i can do is wait i'll just go back to editing my video i'll see you guys when i get breakfast groceries okay so for breakfast today i'm gonna start off with a banana walnut coconut and cinnamon with a little bit of peanut butter oatmeal normally my oatmeals are just really bland but today we're gonna be health to find it up okay and i don't even know if this is the real coconut because it's desiccated coconut i've never had this before in my life so First impression, this, what are you doing over the fly? Get out of here. Even the fly is interested, but I guess flies like, so that's not really a compliment. Um, <laughs> this is probably the best looking oatmeal I've ever made in my entire life. You know what this needs? It needs honey. Mm. So for lunch today, I'm going to be making a chick pea sandwich with greek salad i have never made this before but it looks really delicious following this recipe this is where i got my beef broccoli recipe like from this website so hopefully it's good okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is drain my chickpeas So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mash this up. So then I'm gonna just take a little bit of red pepper. I'm gonna cut up half a red onion. Part of it's gonna go in our Greek salad, so don't use this all for the sandwich. I'm probably just gonna use like that much maybe for the sandwich. Then the recipe says to use mayonnaise and I don't have any, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of avocado and some olive oil if you have mayonnaise though use that mayonnaise girl or boy so i'm just gonna add like a teeny bit of salt i'm gonna add some hot paprika as well let's see what happens and some plum tomatoes Oh my god, dude, I almost had a heart attack. I looked at the cucumber package and I literally for a second thought this was a spider Because <gasps> it's like shaped like it and then it has like these little legs on the side. Oh, thank gosh I would have had to throw this whole thing away And then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of lemon to my Greek salad 
I made the really basic version of this without hardly any ingredients and it actually tastes really good. Okay, time for the Greek salad. I love Greek salad, so good. So it is 5.30, so I'm gonna start cooking dinner. And for dinner tonight, I'm gonna be making salmon with broccoli and rice and hoisin sauce. I'm gonna take some sriracha Pop it over the rice and broccoli. Add some sesame seeds to that. This is really good. The hoisin sauce with the salmon is so good. For dessert, I'm gonna be having some dark chocolate. So this one's the Lint 70%. So for breakfast, I'm gonna be having a little fruit salad with a side of toast and peanut butter. I wasn't really expecting to have this breakfast. I was planning on something else, but I realized that I have a vaccination appointment really early this morning and I woke up a little bit late and I don't have time to cook. So this is what I'm working with. So for my fruit salad, I'm gonna have bananas, some strawberries, and some oranges, or should I say orange? <laughs> No S. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm gonna have the toast with the leftover chickpea salad that I made. I still have quite a lot left over. So I'm just gonna have like a half sandwich. And of course, you can't forget the coffee. So here's my unplanned breakfast. I'm back. They didn't hand out any lollipops. Where did she get me? So for lunch, I'm gonna be making a really delicious salad with eggs, avocado, feta cheese, and some shredded carrots. I was imagining this to look better. <laughs> it just looks like, you know the fish eggs? Oh, I forgot what it's called. That's what this looks like. <laughs> and over top, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of lemon juice. Et voila! So this has got to be probably the ugliest salad I've ever made. But I feel like it'll taste pretty good. I've actually never tried this salad before. I've kind of just mixed a bunch of things that I thought would taste good together. So we'll give it a try. This is really good. I'm actually really proud of myself. And I'm eating carrots without even realizing I'm eating carrots. So as a little afternoon pick-me-up, I'm going to be having some green tea. Normally, I will have two cups of coffee a day, but I'm trying to replace that afternoon coffee with a green tea with no honey, no sugar. Okay, so it's now 5.30, and for dinner tonight, I'm going to be making salmon with quinoa, tomatoes, or tomato paste, and I think broccoli. Oh, that's one cup. Okay, half a cup of quinoa. I definitely burnt the quinoa. <laughs> it's like black in there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of tomato paste into it. Just a little bit. It's like ketchup, you know? Then I'm gonna add some paprika, some cumin or cumin. Maybe let's say cumin. So I'm just gonna slather some sriracha. So here's my really unexpected dinner today. <laughs> I was actually supposed to be making this a salmon quinoa bake i was like dude that looks so delicious and then i kind of burnt the quinoa I realized i had a bunch of broccoli left over so i was like i may as well just eat the same as i did yesterday i'll link the website down below so you can actually check out the recipe that i was gonna try i wasn't gonna add the cheese though but yeah i think this is okay this tastes really really good I 
gosh, I was so nervous. So for breakfast today, I'm having a veggie omelet with bell peppers, chilies, avocado, and a side of strawberries. I have hiccups now. <laughs> Anyone else get the hiccups when they eat spicy, spicy food? <laughs> okay, so it is 1.15 and I'm gonna make myself some bean soup. I'm just gonna start off with a little bit of olive oil in this pot. Okay, so we're gonna leave that in for about eight minutes. While we're waiting, I'm gonna start preparing the garlic. So I'm gonna do almost a full teaspoon of the cumin, half of the paprika, like that much. And we're gonna pop this in there. A couple little squirts of this tomato paste. And then I'm gonna take a cup and a half of vegetable broth. So I'm just gonna let it go to a boil and then I'm gonna reduce it to medium heat and then I'm gonna just leave this for about half an hour. Et voila, here is my bean soup. On the top, I garnished it with some cilantro cause I'm a bougie bitch now and a side of toast. I would actually recommend to put two cups of the broth because this is what happened. So I'm gonna have to like make another thing of broth before I put that back. Bon appetit. It looks and smells delicious, you guys. It's so good. I would pay for this at a restaurant. Like, that's how good it is. Mm hmm. So, <laughs> it is 6 30, and I am feeling a little bit tired. So,. I think it's time to eat. So I'm gonna be making my favorite haddock with kimchi miso soup. And instead of normal rice, I'm gonna be trying cauliflower rice. I have never tried it before, but they sell it at Tesco in these like little packages. So I thought I'd try it out. So I'm gonna start off with boiling my spinach and also making the spinach and fish sauce. So I'm gonna be cutting two spring onions. Half of it is gonna go into my sauce and the other half is gonna go in my miso soup. You need one clove of garlic, a spoon of sesame oil, a spoon of soy sauce, and last but not least, some crushed chilies. Then I'm gonna take some olive oil. It literally smells so gross. Not gross, but like extra fishy. This is what I got from Tesco, four steam bags of cauliflower rice. Got some kimchi. I wonder what the cauliflower rice tastes like. Mmm! So for breakfast today, I'm gonna be making something that's a little bit different and that is kimchi scrambled eggs with some fruit. Okay, so I'm gonna start with heating my pan on medium heat and just putting a little bit of olive oil in. I'm gonna take two eggs. So while I'm waiting for the scrambled eggs to cook, I'm gonna start chopping up fruit and I also just toasted a piece of toast. I love it when strawberries start to go bad just before they start to rot and they go really squishy. I just think they taste the best. Does anyone else think that too? Because whenever I tell people that, they think I'm weird. So once your eggs look like it's about to be done, we're gonna add in the kimchi. Girl, this is literally so good. If you have never tried kimchi with scrambled eggs before, like, what are you doing? Like, for real. Okay, tell me why that looks really aesthetic today. Oh my god, it's just so spicy and like, save, oh my god, I can't. Mm. The chest about to go off strawberries are so good. This is my favorite meal. 
I think this entire what I eat in a week video, this is it. So for lunch, I'm having the bean soup that I made yesterday with some whole wheat toast. You know how I was saying last night, the fish smelled kind of fishy? Well, it actually kind of made me feel sick. So I threw out the other fish because I didn't trust it. So now I don't know what to make for dinner. I was originally going to just make like haddock with brussels sprouts and then i was gonna make a moroccan sweet potato recipe that i found online but i can't really make that what can i make for dinner with these ingredients i have rice cumin paprika sweet potato lentils garlic onions oh i have this kind of don't have all those ingredients but i i feel like i can make really bad version of this but i'm gonna really try <laughs> so let's start cooking our curry that's not really curry it's just trying to be curry but it's not curry <laughs> God, that just made it look way better. Here's my really unplanned, modified curry. I'll link the website to the real recipe so you guys can try this for yourself, but I would say that actually doesn't look too bad. I don't dislike it so much that I wouldn't eat it, but I don't like it enough where I would eat it again. <laughs> but I kind of have to eat it again because I made like double, so I'll have to eat it tomorrow. Mm. I think it's the tomato paste that I don't like. Like, I think I put too much in. I'm gonna be having three pieces of chocolate today because I'm sad. And I'm sad because I'm watching Fatherhood. I've watched 12 minutes and I've already bawled my eyes out. At home, my friends are here. Your friends are kind of weird. I just thought I would add this in here. I noticed it earlier today, but like my skin for some reason feels really smooth. And the only thing that's changed is the way I'm eating. So maybe like the fact that I'm eating more vegetables this week and drinking more green tea maybe. But like it's weird. Usually like when I rub my face, it kind of like drags along with it, but it's like, whoa. <laughs> Probably just gave myself a bunch of pimples doing that. Do this diet. Your diet really affects your skin. Is skincare really worth it? Or do we just need to eat different foods? I don't know. Oh, by the way, my hair is not greasy. I just put in a scalp treatment when I make breakfast this morning. So for breakfast today, I'm going to be making something a little bit different. Something that I've never made on my channel before. Something that I've actually never made before. And that is banana oat pancakes. This is a flourless, very healthy alternative to pancakes. And seeing as it's my cheat day today, I thought that would be the best thing to start off with are some pancakes. But they're healthy pancakes because this video is healthy. Okay, let's make it. So we're going to start off with mashing our banana. I'm going to add a quarter cup of oats, a pinch of cinnamon, pinch of salt, a spoonful of peanut butter, and two eggs. Uh-oh. I uh, know you don't. Excuse me, where are you going? <laughs> okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna flip it. Oh, <laughs> ew, it looks so ugly. That's what you get for being healthy, I guess. It looks like someone took a poop and they ate peanuts the night before. Oh my god, that's a huge pancake. Here's what it was supposed to look like. Here's what mine looked like. So I'm gonna add some honey. Moment of truth. Does it taste good? Does it not? It definitely doesn't look good. Mmm, it tastes exactly like an oatmeal banana muffin and I love oatmeal banana chocolate muffins So next time I make these I'm gonna add chocolate chips. Oh my god, that would taste so good mm. Mm. 
guess what I'm having for lunch? My leftover concoction from yesterday. Sorry, I look a little bit crazy. I'm just in the middle of getting ready. But I got really hungry and I was like, you know what, I need to eat. For my cheat meal, I'm gonna be having a big thing of McDonald's. I bought all the veggie options. So I got the veggie burger, veggie nuggets, mozzarella sticks, veggie wrap, fries, and Coke, and a side of sauces. So I think that's it, because I'm actually gonna be filming a mukbang now. So if you wanna see me eat this and talk about things, then go check out that video, which will be out after this one. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next Thursday with a mukbang. Bye!